Uh, welcome back. Uh, this is video two in uh, our very short series here looking at uh, some of the new Unwrap tools in Maya 2009. Uh, in this uh, second and final video here, we're going to actually take the shells which we cut apart in the first video and sew them back together. Uh, so to do this, I'm going to get my shells just a little bit closer together. And uh, there we go, nudging these pretty close. Let me rotate this so it fits a little bit nicer up along that edge. And I'm going to now try and get each one of my edges going down this pinky area to be selected. And with this, I'm going to sew them back up. Uh, I'm going to use my sew tool to do that. And uh, that's going to really seam this up at the end. So there we go. I've got that whole selection down the pinky selected. Uh, I'll go to polygons and I'm going to choose uh, move and sew UV edges, which is going to get these pretty close, but probably get a little bit of overlap as we see here. Now, not a problem because the new features that we've looked at so far allow me to continue unwrapping this. I'm just going to select the uh, UVs in the pinky and I'll just go to unfold and we can see what happens. Now this is in the UV space option. Let's switch it to world. World is looking a little bit nicer here. Let's see if we can add in some of the UVs one step down and that starts to fold itself out as well. And honestly without too much more work that's come together pretty nicely. Um, I'm actually going to come in and maybe take this one last UV and move it around a little bit, these last two, just so that feels a little bit more uniform there. But um, otherwise, very, very solid. Now here we're going to start attaching the uh, hand together. My first step when doing this is I often like to find where things will connect. And it looks like by selecting this edge that it selects this corresponding edge down below. Uh, and that tells me that's probably a pretty good spot to, uh, to put this. I'm going to grab these edges working my way down the side. And uh, it looks like my scale is just a little bit off here. So before I do that, I'm just going to select my shell and maybe scale this back up a little bit so that these faces fit in size a little bit more. And uh, let's see if I can sew this up. Go right there, and I will again choose polygons, move and sew. Now this time, the problem that I have is that it starts to overlap pretty dramatically when I do that. So instead of move and sew, I'm just going to choose sew UV edges, which doesn't actually move those in place. Uh, this is going to give me a lot more options when I come back in and need to unfold this a bit more. And there we go. I think that flattening level is pretty much what we're after. So this is coming together pretty nicely. Uh, I've just got this last part of the thumb, which needs to be connected to the hand. And it looks like this is going to fit pretty well, maybe down here. So again, I'm just selecting my edges along the bottom. And again, I'm going to go in and choose um, Sew UV Edges. And with that selection, I'll just grab a selection of the lower UVs so I don't disturb what I think is already working great up top. I'll get my Smooth UV tool and unfold it out till the size seems like it fits. Uh, I've got two extra little UV edges up here, and I could uh, cut off this bottom section and paste it around, but I think I'm going to leave this layout for right now. It seems to fit best with where the thumb actually gets positioned. Um, alternately, I could actually put the thumb on the other side. The top of the thumb could go on the other side just as well. Uh, it depends on the layout that you need for this. Uh, some of the UVs along the middle here look a little bit wavy, and so I'm going to try and come back in and see if I can unfold some of that when I'm done. And uh, I think this is actually helping out quite a bit here too cut down some of that distortion at the very end. And uh, with a little bit more tweaking, that's really it. I'll grab a selection over all my UVs, and I'm going to scale them so they fit into my 0 to 1 space. And a little bit more. 
And there we go. And that would be the UV layout for my hand. Let's check out how the distortion is working. I'm going to go in and I will load up a UV checker texture. I'll hit 6 to see it. And notice that these checkers are pretty uniform in size. Uh, if I actually go in and into my place 2D texture, let's make this repeat 10 times by 10 times, we'll be able to see it a little bit better. Um, that is going to give me a very, very nice um, unwrap, to be quite honest. Pretty distortion free there. Very, very nice gradation across. There's a couple of seams, but those can be painted around. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, again, uh, this is Andrew Klein. For more tutorials, please visit andrewkline.net. Thank you.